In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to have one of the best pass defenses in Madden NFL 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is focused around helping you and myself get better at the game. I take losses, you guys take losses, we can all get better at the game. And so if that's something that you're interested in, if you're interested in learning from me and learning from the best players in Madden, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, but also make sure to join my Discord. My Discord is kind of the hub of my community. It's the best place to be the most up to date, and it's also the best place to set up lab games and get to know other people from the community. So if that's something that interests you, be sure to join the Discord. A link is in the description. All right. So I've gotten a lot of requests to break down my nickel three through five defense. Now this defense is really really good. Um, I actually have the full defense in my competitive guide. I'm going to be showing you one element of it, and that's a pass coverage that I use. But first and foremost, I want to show you my depth chart. So I run with the Packers. Um, that's my um, that's my team this year for head to head. And all you're going to do, um, all all you're going to do here is we can we can just sub everybody in at the mini. But what I want to break down is the speed factor. So speed is really really important this year. Um, as you can see here, Jair Alexander's got 93 speed, Holman's got 90, 93 speed, Savage has 93 speed, and Adrian Amos has 92 speed. So you've got four uh, guys that can pretty much lock down in man to man, and then you've got a fifth one um, in Kevin King and Josh Jackson who aren't slouches, they have 90, 90 speed. And then you're going to be usering uh, Raven Green at 89 speed. Okay? So speed is really, really important. Um, let me also explain one other reason why I like the Packers. Um, if I can find it, I might not be able to find it in this menu, um, but that's the X factor. So you have edge threat with uh, Zadarius Smith, inside stuff with, um, with, um, with um, Kenny Clark. So all we're gonna do is I'm going to put Darius Smith on the right of screen outside linebacker. Okay, so he's always rushing off the edge. Preston Smith's going to be at the left of the screen inside or in defensive end. Zedarius Smith's right of screen defensive end. Then at corners, this is what I do. And again, you know, this is this is just what I do. So I don't want Savage or Amos in zone. I want them in man to man because they're so fast. Okay, so I'm going to sub in uh, Redman. And I'm going to sub in Jackson at the, at the safeties. They're both going to be in zones. Then I'm going to put um, my corner here, Kevin King, in here. And then I've got my outside guys who are 93 speed each. And then in the linebacker positions, I've got Adrian Amos. And I've got Darnell Savage. And then I'm going to have uh, Raven Green, my left of screen guy, which is going to be my user defender most of the time. The defense we're going to use, um, you can use cover one robber or cover two man. I think cover one robber works a little bit better just because I think the AI on the play works a little bit better for the type of coverage that we are going to run. And we're going up against the Chiefs here. So, you know, Chiefs have, Chiefs have all the speed in the, in the world. So I'm just going to set this audible up here. And then one other crucial adjustment that you want to do, and again, I'm not the first person to talk about this, but I did get a question about this last night on my live stream. And I do this a little bit differently, but again, this is in my opinion the best way to do it. So what you want to do is I would turn auto flip on, auto alignment to man align, ball in air defense to play ball, Quarterback matchups to uh, by speed, meaning the fastest corners will line up with the fastest uh, wide receiver. Option defense to conservative. Strip ball, I would leave on balance. Tackling, I would put on aggressive. Zone drops, I would put at 20 to 25 yards, okay? 20 to 25 yards is what I would do. And then you're just going to come down and cover one robber. And for the Patriots uh, scheme here, we're going to come out in uh, 
Pat slot out as a tight end deep out because they have specific routes that I do want to talk about. Um, and we'll come out on tight end web. So we're just going to back the ball off here because I want to talk about why this is so good. Um, so if we back the ball off, and we're going to run the trips to the wide side. All right, so basically what you've got, um, you'll see here what we want to have. Actually, I'm sorry. That's why you want to, you don't want to have auto flip on. I'm sorry. Because you want to make sure that Amos is in coverage. So let's back out of there. One other thing I've thought about doing with this specific defense, just because of how fat, just because of how, um, how fast the corner or the safeties are for the Packers specifically is to move them to corners. Um, like if you were to put, uh, if you were to switch them around a little bit. But anyway, uh, like I said, cover one Robert Press. And then we're just going to come out in the Lob Streak City Y off trips hat. Um, it's a really good formation to lob streaks out of. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to, they are automatically going to line up right. So all you're going to do is shade over top and you're going to shade. I personally like to shade inside. Some people would suggest that you shade outside. Personally, I like to shade inside. You're going to drop these two safeties right here into purple zones, just like that. And then that's it. You're going to use your green. Um, I like to leave him on his blitz. You don't have to. Um, you can do you know a number of things. But this is pretty much how I start out every game. And I'm just going to see if they can beat it or not. Now, if you're the Chiefs, the Chiefs have a specific speed advantage that I did want to break down today. So you see here, Tyreek Hill is going to be on this guy right here. Um, and most of, this just is going to play really good coverage. Like... There are some things that are going to be open, but it, overall, it's going to play really, really good coverage. Um, like I said, it's just a very simple defense. It's nothing nothing too fancy. You see Adrian Amos is a man on the tight end. I don't like that Darnell Savage is a man here. I want Darnell Savage to be in man over here where he is. So that's why I thought about... Um, about changing that up a little bit because Darnell Savage guarding the running back is kind of pointless. Um, you can uh, you can also um, if you base the line, it's actually interesting. So if you base the line, you see it changes that. So sometimes base the line is actually better. It does depend. Um, if you base the line, what I would do is shade coverage outside, and I would drop these guys into hook curls because you're going to be more susceptible to the underneath drags you'll see here like if they throw Tyreek Hill on a drag they have inside leverage so that's one of the reasons that you want to man align because you don't want to give up any of that kind of stuff so man align I would not press I would not do that um, if you if you do press I find a lot of times and I would also um, typically I will keep those safeties back just because um, if they get the illusion that this is open right here, this uh, fade to Tyree Hill, you'll see you'll get a lot of that. But because of the – oh, wow, what a catch. But because of the defense, right, because of the edge threat that Zadarius Smith has, he's not going to have a ton of time to get the ball off. Like really, you know, you're going to be – you've got a couple seconds. Um, I'll show you um, a streak to the right. This is McCall Harbin versus 93 speed Kadir Holman. And you'll see here. See there, he does kind of fit it in. But what you want to do is you want to click on and you want to make a play with your user. So that is also, um, you know, part of the trick of this defense is having a good user in the middle of the field. But like I said, you're going to stop a lot of what people like to do. You really are. So here I'm going to click on and you see it's 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 good it's a good route. So that's another reason why I would want to put Adrian Amos in that slot corner um, so that you can get some of that stuff. But 
overall really good stuff from this formation really good stuff from this defense those really the only thing that you're gonna really struggle with and from time to time I will literally just run cover two man you know just turn this into cover two man and you know if someone's streaking me to death then I can do that like I said you want to shade your coverage over top if you don't shade your coverage over top there's not going to be any way to stop them. But as you can see there, there's the interception. And again, it's hard to show this with two controllers. But your click on is so important this year. Being able to click on and go make a play. Especially against lob streaks. Especially against lob streaks. Because lob streaks are good. Um, I mean, I've struggled with them a little bit early on in the year. You know, really against a really, really good lob streak. Like right there. You see that little animation? So... You, you do have to be aware of that. That's why I say, you know, what I would do to start until they force you to not do this is I would start out with the cover two setup, just two safeties high, because two safeties high, they can't do the, they can't throw the streak, right? See here, if he tries to throw the streak, it's a pick every time um, or, or an inter incomplete pass. So anyways, guys, that is, um, my base pass defense. This is, if you want an expanded version of this, pick up the defensive guide. It's in the description below, um, the defensive ebook, but I had a lot of questions about people asking me about why my coverage doesn't get beat over the top. That's why, because I shade it over the top. And typically I will, if I do get beat over the top, cause you are still a little bit prone to it in regs because in regs, ride receivers are, have a significant speed advantage over corners, right? Like the Chiefs, you have 99 speed and 99 seven, 97 speed, whereas the Packers, you have 93 and 93. So you're a six, plus six speed and plus four speed. So, you know, to me, you're gonna need to be a little bit careful with this defense and regs, but it still does really a good job, um, in my opinion, and it's a good place to start, okay? So that is the pass defense. If you have any questions, just shoot me a text. My number's in the top left of the screen, 812-216-3644. Reminder, guys, we post four times a day here on this YouTube channel, and we stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So I'd love to see you come to one of those streams. And if you haven't already, make sure you're joining the Discord, but make sure you're subscribed too, because like I said, we're going to be posting four more times today alone, and you want to catch those videos. We'll see you guys in the next one.